State lawmakers are heading back to Tallahassee this week for another special session of the state legislature. A lot of topics on the table for this one, but one that's made a lot of headlines is Disney World and the Reedy Creek Development District. News Channel 8's Trevor Sahaki is live in the newsroom with a preview of what we can expect in Tallahassee. Trevor. Jack Allison, after Florida stripped Disney's special district status, the company could propose a plan for regaining that status. But now the governor is proposing a state-controlled board be put in place instead. This special session could make that law. The biggest issue this week's special session is tackling Reedy Creek and Walt Disney World. We're not going to have a corporation controlling its own government. That's going to be revert to the state. Last year, Governor Ron DeSantis stripped Disney of its Reedy Creek Improvement District. The district allows Disney to govern itself. This decision came after the company came out against the Parental Rights and Education Bill, which critics call the Don't Say Gay Bill. This year, the special session is looking at reversing that decision and putting a state board to oversee the district. Of course, the governor will be a part of the appointing power and authority for that. St. Petersburg College professor of political science Tara Newsom said the legislation wants to make sure citizens in Reedy Creek are protected from carrying the tax burden of Walt Disney World. They're really trying to find the sweet spot on how to push back against corporate advocacy while protecting uh, the citizens from the tax burden. Another topic the governor wants to handle in this session, adjusting state laws around transporting migrants, especially after the controversy with Martha's Vineyard last year. Which is a means to change state law that the Florida legislature can actually transport not just um, immigrants that are in Florida, but they can pay for the transport of immigrants anywhere within the United States. Newsom said the governor and the Republican-controlled legislature are on a similar page about many of these issues. So with the Republican supermajority, it's likely they'll be able to pass the bills they choose to. The special session could also address updating Florida's name, image, and likeness laws for college athletes, adding more money to the state's Emergency Response and Preparedness Fund, and updating the laws for the Office of Statewide Prosecution to include election violations. Live in the newsroom, Trevor Sahaki, 8 on your side.